fast look at how to do Cornell notes using your Conexus lessons. I'm going to show you how to write Cornell notes on a traditional notebook, but you can use these same techniques in digital notes. Open your lesson in Conexus. We're going to do this over the Unit 2 Lesson 1 of Physics, the introductory lesson. There's some information to read, just some thought-provoking questions, so read that. We don't have to take any notes on that. Same thing for this second activity, which is very fun and might earn you $20 on a bet, so give it a try. The third slide just tells us what to expect from the lesson. And the fourth slide is where we actually start looking at things that will help us with our Cornell notes. The reading guide tells us what pages to read in the e-text. And um, it also gives us some key topics and some questions for your notebook, it says. We're going to transform these questions in this area here into our essential questions. Our first one says, what is the difference between displacement and the distance traveled? Okay, so I'm going to start making my Cornell notes by creating a line across my paper here and then one down here. I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because I'm going to leave a section for my summary. You can use a pre-made sheet to do these if you like, or you can use a notebook just like this. We're going to start with the essential question. And I'm going to start with just the question that's given to me here. What's the difference between distance and displacement? So now, using that one question, we have three, let's use that one question and go to the next slide. The next slide gives us a teachlet or a little mini video about distance versus displacement. There's also a transcript listed. When I watch this video, it tells me some specific things that I need to write down. So I'm going to record that. I also learn a new term, this delta means change in. Delta x means change in position. Delta x equals displacement. Delta x is also equal to x, my final position, minus my initial position. Distance is how far an object moves in any direction. Displacement is how far it is from where it started and in what direction. Direction is going to be very important. Once I've gotten the information that I need from the Conexus lesson, I can also get some information from the text about displacement just to be sure I haven't missed anything. Your text can be accessed through this link or by doing a Google search for Holt Text Physics Textbook PDF and pulling up a textbook version, a PDF textbook version. Let's take a look at what's in our text about displacement and distance. One important point is that motion depends on a frame of reference. So I'm going to add that to my list of information as well. Note that I'm not making complete sentences. I'm just writing down the information that I know I need to know. A frame of reference, a frame of reference is a place to measure from. It's location 
of an object in space and time. Then they give me some, some images of a little lizard moving on a timeline. Again, I see my delta x. I now know that that means displacement. And there's my formula. Displacement is change in position equals final position minus initial position. So it looks like I've pretty much got this one taken care of. This section over here is for questions. These are what we call high-level questions. Things that you think might be on the test. The area down below is for summary. Summarizing in your own words what you've taken notes on. I think the questions are probably the toughest part. And so what kind of a question might I ask you about this? And just a definition question is a low level question. So we don't want one of those. Let's write out a question that might be something like, Fred starts at two meters and walks, let's see, 10 meters to the right. He then moves back three meters. What is his displacement? What distance has he traveled? Do you know how you would solve that problem? If you do, then you do know what the difference is between distance and displacement. So now we're going to summarize a summary of distance and displacement. Distance is movement in any direction. But displacement tells us how far we are from where we started. Distance, Displ um, displacement includes direction. So now I've completed the essential question from the um, lesson. I've taken notes on the information that was given to me. I've written a question that related to this and I've summarized at the bottom. Now I've completed the first part of my notes for this section. I can go back and do the one for velocity for the next section. These should be short and concise. Don't copy everything that's in the lesson just the key elements of what you need to know. And the most important part of doing Cornell notes is that you go back and evaluate and add things. Later on, I find out that I did not include that right equals positive, left direction equals negative. So I added that to my notes later. I can also come back in, usually the next day, and I can come in and I can highlight my formulas. Maybe that I need to remember what delta means. Maybe I need to be sure to remember that right and left are positive and negative. And so I re reviewed my notes. The idea of Cornell Notes is to review your notes several times so that the information sticks with you. Hope this was helpful. See you next time. Bye.